at the Big Ten basketball tournament earlier this month, Northwestern and Wisconsin, two NCAA tournament teams, squared off in the semifinals. The game featured a host of seniors, Nigel Hayes, Bronson Koenig, Vito Brown and Zach Showalter for Wisconsin, Nathan Tapport and Sanjay Lumpkin for Northwestern, who will soon be thinking about turning pro. Some may get an NBA or developmental league look, and others will likely end up playing professionally overseas. If they go the international route, they'll know who to turn to for questions. Northwestern assistant coach Patrick Baldwin and Wisconsin assistant coach Joe Krabenhoff both played college basketball where they're now coaching, and both played professional ball abroad for several seasons. At the conference tournament in Washington, D.C., they talked about the transition from playing in college to playing in a different country. There's, there's a big transition because obviously you're going from possibly being the star of your team or leading score or leading red, rebound or whatever it may be. So now you're going into a role that maybe you didn't expect when, when they signed you. So for me, you know, I went as an assist guy, a steal guy, and, and the first thing they said to me is, is Patrick, I didn't bring, we didn't bring you over here to pass the basketball. You need to score. You got to do what the team needs you to do. Uh, some teams will pay you money to come over there and be the guy. Some teams will pay you money, a lot of money to go over and, and just fit in. Maybe you were the guy in college and you just got to go there and fit in. Get eight points and eight rebounds in 15 minutes. And they pay you a lot of money for that. So it's just, you got to you gotta know what uh, what you're getting into, what the expectations are of you as from the club over in Europe and uh, just go over there and, and enjoy it. And you got to have in your mind, that's what I tell these guys, you gotta, in your mind you got to have a plan what you want. You got to stick to it because if you have expectations and you go into a situation where you can't meet those or you can't do those, it's not going to be a good fit. A lot of times you don't know what to expect. The style of play is much different than um, any place that I've ever been at. Um, and any, any style is different than any place that some kids are, are going to now. So um, that's, the, that's one of the greatest adjustments. It's like we probably have our tendencies here in America and you know, what we're perceived as as players or coast, you know, mm -hmm. East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. Southern players, the guys from the Midwest, everybody's mm -hmm. got their tendencies. I think mm -hmm. it just you can't group lump Europe into mm -hmm. one group of, of yeah. guys. I think the Eastern European basketball is mm -hmm. much different than you know maybe you, the player you'd see in Spain. Well, I think the misconception about European basketball is that it's not physical, but that's contrary to, to what a lot of people think. It's extremely physical. Um, they can really shoot the basketball. I think that's one of the things that um, when I first got over there is just understanding that everybody can shoot it. They're really skilled um, and that and that they're physical. We're well, no, playing no, against no, real grown men. I mean, I mean what, 22 years old as a fifth year senior. You're, you're a grown man in college. You can see some 35, 40 year old men over in Europe, and uh, so I think just the physicality of the game um, in Europe is it's, it's, it's rough. It's on the ball. It's very, very physical. They don't call a lot of those kind of check type calls you'll see in college. The other thing that um, you recognize is the. Uh, the traveling mm -hmm. or the steps that you are able to take is is much you know they don't give you that same step that we get. Mm -hmm. um, the euro the euro step came came along as well. But they get labeled soft, but I definitely wouldn't call the style of play I played in mm -hmm. Europe soft by any means. Playing international basketball also means getting acclimated off the court. The other part of it too is. Um, you know, when you start thinking about the travel, the travel is different. You know, we bust every single place except when we're in the Euro League. You know, we flew into, you know, when I was in the Euro League, we, we flew to Lithuania, we played in Germany, we, we did and played in different different areas, but for most part, we were traveling three or four hours to get to, to different places um, every single game. Mm -hmm. um, the other part that's different in the U.S., we practice three times a day, you know, so for an old, I was getting older in my years, so, you know, it was banging on my knees a little bit, and, you know, you get those little nagging pains, but they expect you to, you know, they expect you to practice during that whole time, so. For coaches, one of the great joys is watching former players flourishing as pros. It's so much fun because you know where they came from. Uh, maybe you got them as a freshman, or in a lot of cases, uh, you know they develop, they develop their game so well that now they're they're playing in Europe and getting an opportunity to, to do that. Um, it, there's so much joy with it. There's really so much joy and fun, and uh, so proud of all the guys that, that I've been able to coach that are over there.